is episode 9, the Tamari Demon and the Arrow Demon. So Tamari is the one who throws the balls. Hmm. So it's a pop-up hideout. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now, at this time, time for a little meeting. This looks like fun. Oh my! What in the? Oh, he can regenerate, right? I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> None of you are safe anymore. This is not. These are not toys. Yeah, there's a connection. Well, it's unclear what she means, right? Now I'm not exactly sure who she's referring to because I think it was alluded to that Muzan, is that his name? Has some history with Tanjiro's father who wore similar earrings. So maybe she's referring to that. But of course it just could be the fact that she was sent to look for Tanjiro right now. I wonder what the deal is with those earrings. Is there still an us left? Don't worry about me or, or this guy's lifeless body. We'll be alright. A metaphor. <laughs> Something to do with water. Let me guess. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it's like some kind of weird psychic link or something. I had to see that again, huh? <laughs> he, he can't hear you. He's missing <laughs> a few things. That are essential to the hearing process. Such a relief that he's alive. So they've been on the run this whole time, huh? Oh no! You pissed him off. It's gonna be an interesting diary entry tonight. Twelve blood moons. New quest unlocked. I'm unlocking a lot of quests these days. Does she have more balls? Yep. Just got a lot more deadly. What is Yushiro going to do? I wonder. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Gotta, yeah, there you go, there you go. There you go. Cut in half. And they're thick as hell. Right, well, someone else was just sort of watching. Try not to get dirty. He can't even move, he's pinned down. Well, they'll be alright. Yeah, they're, they're good. If Yujiro can survive that head injury, then they're fine. He just throws his ability at him? That is pretty cool. Nice. You don't need to tell Nezuko to kill twice. Pretty solid defense. There you go. <laughs> that was cool. Oh my! How did he do that with one swing? You... We're underway with this blood extracting quest. It's a cool shot. Yet another great action scene. I love the triple team up between the villains as a pretty cool pair with their powers sinking, and then Tanjiro and Kawaii's sister, and then Tanjiro and this boy who conveniently carries his power on a piece of paper. The balls ended up being a way more interesting weapon than I thought, especially in conjunction with her partner. So far so good, we already got two. And we can see it again. Nice. Gonna take full advantage of this animation. Oh, I see. He cut her in a triangle in like one one stroke. She's still having a great time. 
わしらから血を取るじゃとあのお方のご機嫌を損なうような真似はさせぬぞお前が今まで倒したやつらより手強いぞ Even no ankles demon, he was pretty formidable. He killed a lot of kids. Tomayo sama. I throw a little bit of a game. The loyalty. Unreal. Yeah, that was an odd joke. <laughs> I felt more like when you want to suggest something controversial, but you use just kidding as your escape route. He just sent her flying with his power? Right, regeneration. But do the balls regenerate? They do. They're like a part of her body. Tanjiro does not regenerate, unfortunately. Let's go! That's a nice shot. I feel like this is setting up for Nezuko to kick a ball. Are they switching partners? Switching targets? It's a better match. There's the string. The instinct. You grind me, little imp. Oh, wow. Just cancelled your instinct. Huh, interesting. How do you fight this? Water, water or something. Water falling? Waterfall technique. He did fall a lot with his teacher. It's one of the things he learned. Well, that was a great success. We didn't get smushed. Oh? This is his stealth? He's got a lot of skill, this kid. <laughs> and now you must die. Dear diary, today I bathed in the blood of Lady Tamayo's enemies. Why? Oh, that's why. Oh my. Damn. You just backed him into a corner, though. Shouldn't have said that. She needs to sleep. Yeah. Have a nap. Are these visuals, Mom? He defeated Swamp Demon by going into the swamp. What would be the equivalent for this guy who creates paths with his hands? I'm gonna take a guess and say he has to do it with his eyes closed. I mean, when this guy uses his powers, his weird eye hands close. What's that about? He's just a little bit faster. He can beat your technique. He can change your trajectory. Yeah, there's something, there's a secret hidden in the eyeballs. They close. That's what does it. Why is that? He tried. <laughs> huh. Just touching them puts you on the trajectory. Hey, get it? He's unwrap himself. He's barely hanging in there as it is. We're mixing forms and we see that for a third time. <laughs> he just destroyed the earth. Pretty cool using all the forms together. Oh, that's it? I guess it's a multi-episode battle. But we haven't really solved anything definitively this episode, right? Like, we've established that chopping off a demon's head doesn't do anything. Although it's this time it's with the sword, which might actually do it. So maybe he actually is dead come to think of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool team up. She lost her leg. It's very insensitive. Oh, really? They seem like old friends. Yeah, it's like a perfect pairing. She's just doing the same thing. <laughs> that dialogue, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
dialogue just writes itself. Well, my prediction about how to defeat that demon ended up being totally wrong. It ended up being a combination of forms that I haven't memorized yet, although at least it looked awesome. And then I predicted that Nezuko would kick a ball, and I was kind of right. A couple of cool things to come out of this episode are, one, the fact that I feel like we now have something that feels more like an allegiance between Tanjiro and Yujiro, did I get his name? And the Fragrant Lady. Because they were forming that alliance in word, but now it's an alliance in action. Like, they've actually been through some stuff together. And it seems like this is going to lead to Tanjiro actually harnessing or collecting the first of the Blood Moon blood samples, which is another thing to come out of this series. We have this sequence of villains ahead of us now, leading up to the final villain. It's a very video game-like setup. You have to defeat this number of sub-bosses before you get to the final boss. And perhaps each sample that they collect will give some insight. Will they be able to collect power? Or, or something like that. Another thing that's sort of intriguing is the fact that Yujiro was able to gift Tanjiro his ability, his power. I feel like that could potentially open up a lot of doors, although it could also just be a one-off for this character. Yes, yeah, so not a whole lot to say about the episode except that it's fun. The action is really great, sound design is great, music is good as usual, and I guess in this coming episode we wrap up this mini battle and continue the journey. <music> Thank you.